Pier. We're at the Greenbrier State Park in Maryland in the beautiful Appalachian Mountains. We're off the beaten path again for the East Coast that is, which can be difficult. Uh, we are at a level site for once. Came out to about $34 a night. So about 160 sites and 40 of them are have electric hookup. There are four loops. Two of them allow pets. One of them's got hookups and one doesn't. And then there are two other loops that don't allow pets and there are no hookups. Water is shared. The water point, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a blue post that says water. So the water is shared. So if we want, we can just draw water, fill up our tanks if we want to. We have the, uh, pretty much have this whole area to ourselves. Runs along the edge of the park. They are firing. So the site is well maintained. There's a table. There's a couple of posts. So you could probably hang hang some stuff on the post. The picnic table. Uh, that site, that's the next loop down. So it's us in this loop. This is the uh, C loop, which goes that way. Actually, once again, we end up getting it, the campsite mainly to ourselves. Because we're like the monsters, people. We they see us arrive and people run away screaming. It's just like Lily when she says, when they go on a trip and they seem like, oh, it's awful. Lily tells Herman, oh, it's awful quiet. It seems like we have the whole place to ourselves. When they go to the beach or when they go camping, or when they go to a little town. So it's like that for us. I gave one bit of misinformation here. About the length of our 30 amp cord in a prior video I mentioned I showed the length and I didn't realize when I brought it out this last time that it was longer I, I guess it got stuck in the storage area and it's a lot longer than we thought so I'll show you the length of the uh, coach house 30 amp cords Yeah, that's the length of the cord, so it is quite long. I didn't realize it till this time around, and in the prior video, it was a lot shorter. So, so that gives us a little, few more options without having to buy an extra extension cord. We, we don't have to park so close to the hookups. But nevertheless, this, this site's perfect. We can park right next to it, stay level. Here's what it looks like on the map. Here's Greenbrier. The Appalachian Trail runs along the edge. The Appalachian Trail goes up along there. We came from Harper's Ferry. Just drove up along here. Run 67 to Boonesboro. Then went along, um... Oops, I'm sorry. We kept going, we kept going further up. Then we went along uh, US 40. Takes you to State Park and there's Interstate 70. It's, it's Monday now. So 
bush around the park. There's uh, 165 campsites. And they allow you, they give you a parking pass. You're allowed to come here and select your site. So they do officially allow a tour preview during certain hours of the week. On the weekends, it looks like they appear as they don't, but on weekdays you get to tour, so we were able to tour where they give us a parking pass, a gate code, let us, let us tour the sites, pick our site, go back and pay for it, and camp on. The lake here. Over yonder, they see a roped off swimming area and a sandy beach, around a thousand feet of sandy beach. Nice views. Gentleman fishing. He's stuck with uh, bass and trout. This is the trail coming from the campground. Through there in the trail. We are over here in Cedar Loop. There's access to the trail. We just walk down here to the lake. It's about maybe a one mile walk. Well, maybe let's see. We have map scale half a mile. Oh, well, about a half a mile. Not even, not even, not even a half a mile. Four tenths in the trail. It's called the Camp Loop Trail and it goes up to all four camp loops. And that way is the trail to the beaches. We'll take a walk there and show you that. Yes, yeah, so this thing is uh, June 5th. It's about 65 degrees in the middle of the day. I don't know when the last time I've seen that. Down in Florida. Maybe January. Okay, here's the beach. About a thousand feet of shoreline. So you swim in, inside the ropes, it goes to about six feet deep. And it's for daily use and campers. This place was packed till we got here. No, just kidding. This is a Monday, but there are a lot of picnic areas, so imagine on the weekends or on holidays, these picnic tables get really packed up, and they do say this park does get full to capacity in the summers, but we're here on a Monday. It's a good opportunity to film when it's quiet. Not having to worry about a lot of uh, photo bombs. I get to show you the beauty of this park. Neat building, uh, probably constructed in the 1970s. Concession stand. Some of the items they offer. Really nice. Oh, there's a little camp store in there. Also, a little water water source. <laughs> well, doesn't blooming potable? It's coming from the roof, so 
so. Isn't that tea? And the tea's the shyest of all of them. She comes out at night, but in the daytime she likes to hide. Yeah, she's not like the other two. But in the night she roams around, but in the day she just gets shy. Yeah, she might be scared of the voices outside. She does hear something. This dummy. He realizes his toilet's in a different place, so he's yelling a little bit. girly in her perpetual grooming. She has a little mare too. Bud kiss. Mikey Zena's veggies for the day. That's the next site over from us, and there's a site a little bit closer there on our port side. Here's a path to the bathhouse. See that? In pretty, pretty decent shape. Bath, toilets, and showers. This is my morning wake-up view. 